But first, a spotter ten of tea. So now we're in an asylum, I think. Lewis! 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 Who's Lewis? Are these supposed to be shadows? Is that why the... Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to investigate something. No, those are solid. Oh, never mind. Lights casting the... Oh, okay. They're just shining really weirdly. Drinking iodine may cause acute diarrhea or death. Or probably both. Okay. Now I'm stuck. Don't panic. No, well, pretty much panic. You're almost dead. Also, if this is supposed to be World War II stuff, what are they doing with, like, modern... Walkies. Walkie talkies. It sounds like they just got that off a of Counter Strike mod or something. Nothing acute about. <laughs> I give you the laughing duck, Bob, but I don't have that on this. That's a huge relief. Great throwaway line from House. He has a cute scrotum. Adorable. God, House is so good, man. I gotta rewatch that. Mix this with that, and we have something more interesting. Yeah, mix, mix better dialogue with a better voice actress, and you have a game that's more interesting. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm sorry, usually when I'm suddenly dropped into a giant room, I'm expecting a fight arena. Everyone loves the cynic. I mean, you say that, but I still only have 300 followers. Oh no, I startled the witch! Can't get me here. Actually can't get me here. Yeah. Oh no, Bob, you discovered the secret. Okay. feelings one way or the other. Then why did you say anything? Or was that seriously a Futurama, Futurama reference? Uh, I gotta give it to him. Good atmosphere.
Yeah, it's just too bad I'm not a snarky genius that borders on Mary Sue levels of likability. Because, like, everybody says they don't like House, but Mix they don't, like, kick his ass or fire him. More interesting. Well, I mean, I'm not going to spoil the series in case somebody watching hasn't seen it, but, you know, go watch House and you'll know it. Consequences don't matter if they don't last. It's a trade of the Mary Sue. They may fail, but they fail upwards. I mean, look at Goku. The only time Goku fails is to get more powerful. I guess a better... Better analogy is fucking Ichigo from Bleach. Why, hello there. I just got up here. fish explode? I mean, everybody's gotta have a hobby. Meep. Oh, melee AI. So, yellow key to get there. Anything up here? Oh. Nope. I was playing Shadow Warrior like a few days ago and I noticed that you can actually bonk your head on ceiling fans and it does damage. Kinda funny. It's saved, dude. So I think first thing I got to do is uh, smoke up, get all my health back. Can I get up there? It looks like I can get up here. Actually, no, this looks like a platform that I'm going to get shot at from. We shall see. Camera flash sucks. My god. the rest of the audio for that voice too. 
I don't think it would be so bad if the rest of the, the rest of the game didn't go silent for it. I mean, I get it. She's more intelligible that way, but like. Well, that's conspicuous. Hello, phone. What do you want? Ah. Is there any deal? Is telling me that there are many deals. Oh, Rimworld Biotech's on sale. So is Forgive Me Father 2. It's about 20 bucks on Fanatical right now. As I mentioned before, I'm not going to be getting it until it's done. Where you at, dog? Yeah, that was stupid. I was reading chat while I was going up the stairs. You ever just get hit in the face with a fish? Actually, hang on. I have something for that. ever just been hit in the face with a fish? It's my favorite gif, man. It's so good. Freedom splat. I actually saved it as Magikarp used splash. Oh yeah, I have the yellow key, so I'll go here. And now I need the blue key. Which I have. Now I need the red key. Which I don't have. Wow. That's some... That's some design decisions. Ah, I never went up here. Makes sense. I am the Pokemon guy. Yes. I am very well known for all of my Pokemon stuff. Pistols and health group. Could be dual wielded like that. It can. It's called the Akimbo mod for Unreal Tournament. It's fucking stupid, but I love it. Dual miniguns? You can do that. I guess they're supposed to be less accurate when fired in succession? Where are you going? It's fine. Yeah, it's still just as accurate. So why would you ever take this? Like, this fires faster and it's more accurate. Um, interesting. I 
refuse to let you talk. I refuse to let you talk me into doing a Soul Link Nuzlocke run. Soul Link Nuzlocke run. I, sounds familiar, but I'm drawing a blank. I'm guessing we keep. We have the same ones, and one of them dies, and it dies on both accounts. We need big Daka for this. I heard that. Douche. Actually, no, the thing he's carrying might actually be a douche, so. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, continuous firing is less accurate, but standard firing is just as accurate as before. Yeah, I don't know why you'd take the other upgrade. Save Rooney. And continue. Oh. Hmm. Very well then, sir. Honestly, like, yeah, the game wasn't lying about that. We do get a lot of ammo. So now the throwing knives seem kind of stupid. I mean, I don't have a respec anyway, so there's nothing I can do about it, but... Oh. It's the flesh wall of doom. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, now we're just spooky jump scare mansion. I got gotcha. you. Well then. Spooky flesh wall of doom. You think you've seen that porno? I think we all have. Huh. I missed a secret. Oh well. Quick sip of tea. All right, let's go. This is some good ambience, but honestly, like, the reflection map kind of ruins it. Like, that's cool and all. I guess that's reflecting that. But like, what the fuck's with the reflections here? I wonder if this is a boss. Let's go. Looks like the boss from Xenocrisis. Catharsis? Really?
Oh, they follow me. Okay. The fuck is blowing up? Am I not doing any damage to it? Oh. That's a face. I should actually use my abilities. What's up, buddy? Oh, come on now. Ah. That does not work. Reef of Madness doesn't work on this guy. Uh. I guess ammo respawns? Like, I don't know what I'm doing here. Can't get into melee range. Can I even hit those? Playing a game where I can double jump. I don't know why I keep mashing space twice. Oh, I can't double jump yet, I guess. Camera flash beyond useless, holy shit. A lot of things to pay attention to.
Ugh. Like, I can't check for the mines, because the second I turn around, he's gonna do that stupid wave thing. Stay still because those things are chasing me. boss of a bitch. And yeah, the voodoo doll doesn't even take care of those eyeballs. Revolver and the, uh, whatever the fuck it was. This thing. They share the same ammo type. I gain one restart skill point. Cool. So if you beat a boss, you get a respec. You've managed to kill this monster. And now, what's next? You hear a metallic sound coming from one of the coolers. It's Dr. Sullivan, hiding from the world. He recognizes your face. He slowly comes back to his senses. He gives you a key with the image of Cthulhu. You will open the gates of darkness with it. 
Oh, we're just going he full Anne's mouth. To the hills outside the city. That's where they took everyone. Your cousin is there. They're in great danger. <laughs> Suddenly, something attacks Dr. Sullivan. He's dying in convulsions before your eyes. What is the fate of Lewis? You must hurry. Fate of Lewis is to have pills. Pills here. Grabbing pills. You know, it's a weird take, but I kind of like Left 4 Dead 1 better than 2. I know. I just found the smaller scope made it a bit tighter. It's also kind of weird to have a leveling system where enemies don't respawn. Or do they? Because I remember screwing around in the house long enough that, like, enemies are coming back. Time to release my epic gaming strat. Of, like, top five grinding places and forgive me, father. Oh, they're gonna walk in like you. Boom! What the fuck am I stuck on? Okay. Anyway. Yeah, this is gonna be a frustrating arena. Invisible wall, okay. Is that explosive ammo? If this was a FromSoft game, I'd have to run against one of these gravestones for like five minutes and then something on the other side of the level would open up for like two minutes. God, the accuracy on that thing is terrible. 
Yeah, next level I should probably upgrade the shotgun again. Yeah, I just want a pump action. Is that so much to ask for? Bucket on his head. He's a bucket head zombie. I don't need that magnet fungus. some pretty sweet atmosphere. Like, this is something I hope they do in the second one, is kind of... I guess move away from the corny boom shoe? Like, you can do it like Painkiller. Painkiller's... not as hokey as the other ones. And it has the same kind of, uh... It has the same kind of themes, although it's more serious, Sam. Yeah, I actually think this game would benefit from taking itself a little more seriously. Don't get me wrong, the exploding fish are great. But like, I'm kind of pulled out of it from the clearly out of their time troopers that have been turned into fucking brain suckers. Mind flares, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, they're basically turned into mind flayers with energy staves. Like you'd think, like the hit scan weapon guy, that that would be the guy. That would be the first one. But no. Ah yes. Wood and wood. And then it gets really bad once your character starts quipping. My god. Yeah, fuck it. Flashlight 2. Nah, I could do health. Nah, yeah, fuck it. Flashlight that 2. Bulb was so weak. Here's a better one. Here's a better one. That line seriously sounded like it was just, like, TTS. Something to note, though, even though I, like, shit on voice actors sometimes, I do hope that they, like, improve. As Spongebob says, sucking at something is the first step to being kind of good at something. It's just funny because there's examples of, like, voice actors getting worse as they, uh, go on. Like, a 
lot of games that get sequels later on down the road and then a voice actor gets called back. But like they've done so many other projects they kind of forget how to do the original character. settle in the same voice. Not all the time. Sometimes as they do so many, they can't remember which one, like, how they did the first one. I mean, and then there's gods like, you know, John St. John or Terra Strong or people like that. They can just do, like, any one of their voices perfectly from memory. Or fucking Robin Williams. Think people are going to be competing with AI? Uh, I don't know. AI voice is... It's a thing, but it needs heavy, heavy editing so it sounds coherent. And at that point, you're actually spending more than just hiring a voice actor. Place voice actors in AAA games when the story feels like it's written by AI, so like five years ago? Look at every Ubisoft game that turns out to be the exact fucking same. From our forays into the uh, lesser known Metroidvanias, it almost seems like some of those Metroidvanias are written by AI. <laughs> it's just like, like Hollow Knight, but. Yeah, Larian's. Larian doesn't want anything to do with wizards, and frankly, the way wizards keep shooting themselves in the foot, I don't blame them. Larian can go on to do much, much better things. Maybe they have enough money to do their own IP. If not, like, the level of care and attention to detail that they put into Baldur's Gate 3, even though it's not my kind of game, like, I still appreciate that. Yeah, or Square is going to pump, pump a bunch of AI bullshit. I mean, they're still aboard the NFT train. Thank you, sir. Very cool. I'm sorry, what? Can you sound like you're in mortal peril for once? I won't miss you. Like, my character sounds like she's playing a video game. Which is a shame, because this looks amazing, the atmosphere is amazing, the gameplay is amazing. The fucking battle music kicks ass. But the character is the wrong kind of insufferable. Unless that's the twist and that all of this is like some hollow deck shit. Warp. Very secret. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance is on our sugar light. Yeah, but I don't think that's a top down strategy RPG like the rest of them. Baldur's Gate is a good game instead. 
Hey, you say that, but the original still got lines that are stuck in my head. Very first place you go to. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. I don't know why it's stuck in my head. I guess it's because I was like eight, but still. It sparks. I'll pretend I didn't see that. Pretend you didn't see what? JRPG Stango sitting in his corner. Yeah, your corner. The opposite corner so you don't have to sit with the other JRPG stands. Uh. Oh. There are two JRPG stand corners. One's full of Persona people. Ah, uh, those SMT people. I mean, that being said, I have been known to listen to Mass Destruction on a loop, so... level of Weebery, although I have played Danganronpa. can headshot them, it's very hard. Oh, that one doesn't have a bucket. You haven't played Danganronpa because you like the other Chunsaw visual novel game guy? Fair enough. I fingered that, but I guess it works. Just to speed that along a bit. Take it, I'm going the wrong way. I am. I've never heard of those games. Or if I did, it was in such passing that I instantly forgot. Because you get a lot of, you can get like a lot of max health, but 
The health pickups don't restore much? So, like, I kind of don't see the point. I probably missed hella secrets in there, but I don't feel like... meticulously going through every single gravestone and area marker just to see if there's something else. Oh, okay, we're doing a special brand of stupid here. Oh, I just noticed there's an XP bar on the side of my portrait. I honestly think they could have stylized this a little bit more. Like a bit more contrast with the uh, head shaders. Because, like, this just looks pure 3D at this point. And so the stylized stuff that they have for the rest of it. It's still a cool environment, it's just a little different. Top 50? I wouldn't be surprised if Bob can, like, pull up a list of his top 200. The man likes his lists and stats. It's the main reason we have stats on Retro Roulette. I wasn't gonna do it. So I missed two secrets. Oh. 